Hold on. All right, I had a, I had a little glitch there. I don't know what just happened. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh boy, yeah, I don't know what just happened. Huh. All right. Let's uh. I hope I hope I hope we're good. Yeah, I hope we're good. Um Like in Star Wars for example, there's a lot of very strong characters. A lot of powerful characters that are out in the world. Um and right now I think one of the one of the most interesting things to see in the in the shows is Ahsoka. I think Ahsoka Tano is gonna do things that we are not ready for. And I'm really excited. Oh, I gotta climb up. Um, I think one of the... Oh, so to, to wrap all of it up is when, they talk, when I'm talking about like, like, like canonical faithfulness, you know, when you're sticking to the source material and you're doing what you can to remain true to the world that you're jumping into. So you're making this media after the fact like it's already the the original pieces have already been made and you're making things after the fact um does she appear in obi-wan she does not appear in obi-wan i'll give that away because you won't see her so it's not like it's a spoiler um but obviously she's been in the mandalorian she's going to be getting her own show and that's a lot of what i'm excited for is because um she was really really well defined in um both the mandalorian um, the, obviously the animated Clone Wars show, as well as when she was further defined in Star Wars Rebels. And we do have a good idea that she's, you know, searching for, for Ezra Bridger, um, and trying to figure out, like, where he's at based on what she was looking for in The Mandalorian. That's what a lot of the, um, like, people that do a lot more, like, following along to the storylines are, are thinking. So I think that's, that's what we're, we're looking at. Um... But, and I'm glad we were able to get an idea of how she survived Order 66 with the final season of the Clone Wars. We were able to kind of see, like, what went down. Like, what did she have to go through? Um, it'd be cool to see a little bit more about what she had to go through in hiding, you know, for, for a while before the Mandalorian. And make, I'm hoping so good. Um, the show is built through that time period. I really hope we don't get a tail by anything here. That would be painful. I up, yep. Um... Yeah, so I really hope that they show some stuff about her in hiding. I, I don't think it's necessary, so they technically don't really need to. But it would just be cool um, to kind of see that. But I think she's one of the strongest characters that's out right now. Uh, because in The Mandalorian, um, you know, she is so quick to looking at Grogu and just going like, No, he's too attached. Like, I can't. I'm sorry. And his attached makes him afraid. And it's just, I'm not going to teach this guy a thing. Like, it just won't happen. And even, you know, Mando has no idea. He doesn't get why. Why that's important. The people that know, know that, you know, Anakin Skywalker was her master. And he, he knows that what Anakin has become. And she knows the monster he is. And that was 100% because of his attachment. And because he was afraid of losing the people he loved. And he needed the power. The absolute power to save them. And that absolute power corrupted him absolutely. Oh, that kid's dead. That kid's dead. That's a rip. And so she's very quick. She's just like, yeah, I won't, I won't teach this guy nothing. Um, and then she, when he is getting caught by, by um, CGI Mark Hamill, even he's Jonah! like, you know, he's he's attached. He's he's got emotion. She's Jonah! like, yeah, it reminds me of your father. Laura. <laughs> But... I'm so worried. I failed. Wes. What do you mean? I can let do me let mean, me say this though for you, Ed. If you watch Kenobi. I lost it. Okay. After everything that my father went through, I gave Trinity exactly what they wanted. He'll use the How box and the knife this? to remake the world. 
to remake you the movie. are going to see Obi Wan sin and weakness. A man like that, we we have to stop him. It's all my fault. Dealing with we'll figure it out. Okay, I, I promise. No, 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 everything. No, no, no. We have to get to the hidden city before that happened to find after. The bomb. Okay, the well, third first, movie. First, we're gonna help these people get to safety. What I mean by that we'll go after the is the third no, no, movie events happen fast. Not if he gets the box first. It's the minute Obi Wan's on Utapau and he's hunting down General are. Grievous. You don't know that you caused all this, Lara. Not everything is about you. These people need us here. Man, Jonah just shut we me up. We good now. Basically, what's been going on? Um, what do we gotta go on? I know Little? we've been talking about Star Wars, Lord of the Rings, and all the fun we're stuff. Need but more than uh, pink fish and we're in Cosmo, Mexico, to trying to hunt down city. an item that Trinity is looking for. And it's not really the biggest thing. This is just gonna help us throw it ourselves into the game. But we found the item, and we found it before them. But the problem was that's what they wanted because by removing it from its hiding place, we destroyed Cosmo. And that's what they're looking for. Is they're looking for things that can bring apart these types of like world-ending um, events. So now we have to kind of jump into Peru. And so that's a lot of what we missed. And she obviously now believes that she just killed all these people. And that's fair. That's what you would think um, after this. But going back to Star Wars. So, you know, Obi-Wan gets sent to Utapau to go hunt General Grievous. And he's successful. He kills General Grievous. And when he walks back to Commander Cody, he gets his lightsaber. He gets on the lizard. And it's time to wipe out the rest of the, of the droids. And right then and there, Order 66 gets called. Right? So you have to remember, he gets shot down, and now he's immediately in hiding. And so he flees Utapau, and he, he teams up with with, um, with Yoda, and they go to the Jedi Temple. He's dropping these clone troopers that are still there, um, just absolutely destroying them. Looking at the destruction that's been caused, he finds out that Anakin's the source of it. Him and Yoda try to figure out what are they going to do. One's got to deal with Anakin, one's got to deal with Darth Sidious. Um, Obi-Wan has to take on Anakin, and he doesn't want to. So, not only does he manipulate Padme to do so, like, he sneaks aboard her ship, he hides in order to get there, but he, he gets face-to-face -face with, with An the kid Skywalker and watches the monster that he's become. And he can see the anger and the rage, and he realizes, like, this, I, like, I'm sorry, like, this guy, this like, my, my, my Padawan is so far gone that he's speaking in absolutes, he's, he's, He's seeing the world like a Sith would. The riddle says, and so when he pulls his lightsaber and he goes, you know, I'm going to do what I must. Like, that's when he's hit his mind. He's like, I got to close off my emotions and, and I got to fight this out. guy. And the, the Jedi are, are very keen on, on repressing your emotions. So when he defeats Anakin, we'll he walks away mountain. and he lets his fate up to the force. All of that has happened in such a quick it, period of time that he never had the chance to process it. Because right after that, what, they watch Padme get birth, she dies it's after childbirth, and he takes uh, Luke over to Tatooine. The mural says there'll You know, be more never disasters. had an opportunity to really think about it, so when he's on Tatooine, like, he's, he's already M22. now in hiding. So, okay. you're gonna, that's what you're going to see out of Obi-Wan, and it's, I but think they really do it know? so well. So, I won't say Damn. anything about what, what happens to him, but... I took the dagger. That's you what you're realistically watching, is him handling the events of the third movie, and I think they do it really well. It's, it's so good. And another thing that I'll say is that this version of Darth Vader, because they bring back Hayden Christensen as an actor, so he's he'll be in the show, I just won't say where or how or what they do with him, but he's other. there. So, he loves his character, he loves Anakin Skywalker. As an actor, he's very faithful to the character. This Darth Vader is the most hey, brutal we've ever seen. I might have something over here. Really? On film. Like, if you've That's ever it. seen Rogue One, and you see the final scene where Darth Vader's in the hallway, like just storm. tearing through Rebel Troopers. Should we come back in the morning? Take that. So close. Obi-Wan Darth Vader. I guess a little turbulence wouldn't in stop In raw me brutality. Either. You're gonna see some stuff. If you're not hooked by episode three, Miguel, I don't know what to tell you. I just I don't know. Yeah, I can put you down near Kuhar Jakku. Let's go. Because by episode three, you'll 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 see what I mean. You'll understand. Contact, Yo. So this is where we started the game. Because right at the opening scene, the ship tears apart. 
so we can let this happen. What are you doing? Yeah, that guy's probably got a terrible headache. One of the things, that, one of the games that I'm really excited for um, is a game that I'm going to be getting for, it's primarily for my wife. It's not really going to be bought for me um, because I'm trying to get her to play more games so that we can do stuff together that I like to do because I, I really, it's, it's reading in games. Um, and, you know, we can't really, we can't really like, read together, like, you can read in the same room, but that's not something you participate in as a, as a group. You can read the same book, but for me, like, I don't know, that's just, I like to just sit there and read by myself. So it's not really a thing that we can do, you know, like, where we're going through it together. I'm trying to get her into games. The, uh, Harry Potter Legacy game that's coming out, um, soon. I'm really excited for it. It's, it's supposed to be by the holiday. So I hope they stay true to the expected release. Whoa! What happened to my hair? Let me fix it. There was like a big old bun in the back. Popcorn reading. Yeah, but like the books that I like to read are like Star Wars books, Lord of the Rings. I have like a lot of sci-fi, like The Witcher, like things like that. And she likes to read like dramas and thrillers and mysteries and like I don't know. That's just not me. So. We don't really enjoy the same types of uh, of books for us to like popcorn read it together. I feel like there's gonna be books where I'm just gonna get lost, and same thing. There's gonna be books where she's gonna get lost, and um, but with games, she likes to play a lot of like puzzle games. Um, if you were to put genre names on it, like kid games, family games, like Legos, uh, she likes Lego games. So. Um, but she's a huge Harry Potter fan. Like, if you, you talk about, like, my love for, for Star Wars and my love for, uh, Lord of the Rings, maybe a comic book. I don't know if she would, if she would survive a comic book. She's not really, so, like, Marvel, like, isn't her thing. Um, and neither, like, none of the superhero movies are really her thing. Like, we watched, um, Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, and it wasn't really, um, she wasn't really too fond of it. Um, her favorite, like, superhero movies that she's been watching right now are Guardians of the Galaxy, uh, Volume 2, because she loves Baby Groot, I'll and that's really it, later. so, like, if Baby Groot no longer was Baby Groot, then it Jonah! wouldn't mean anything to her, Can she only likes Baby Groot, uh, and then Tom Holland's Spider-Man, she thinks he's adorable, which Hello? I should be sus of, but Anyone? she loves watching Tom Holland on camera, so, I don't know. Other than that, she could care less. But, so, I'm, I'm going, I told her already, I, I was like, dude, when it's out, like, when it's, when we have a release date, like, I'll pre-order it for you. Like, I want you to have all the, all the benefits of it. I want you to have all the items. I want you to have fun. And I want you to be able to play that game. And she's a huge, Char or not, sorry, she's a huge Harry Potter fan. So she knows it, like, inwards, backwards, upside and down. I'm she closer. is so knowledgeable of Harry Potter. And so, oh, there's a flare. It's probably Jonah. Someone's over there. I have to get to them. All right, we're in Peru. Look at this landscape, man. This is beautiful. Yeah, and and the cool part about it is that it is an original, so it's not. It's based out of the Harry Potter universe, but it's set in like the 1800s, I think. So it's not based like in any time frame that you know, like she'll know of, because you know, like she knows the Fantastic Beast stuff. She knows about like Grindelwald. She knows. She knows all of that, so it's like it's gonna be a new. How? Am I missing it? Yeah, I don't. I don't. Ima I couldn't imagine that there'd be things here that I could possibly be missing. Cosmel, twenty-eight percent complete. That's funny. I missed a bunch. I missed a lot. But there's there's base camps, so once we get a reinforced knife, we can go. We can head back. That's the cool part about Cozumel is that we we can we can make it back and it's really just what one two three. I wonder if those major items are gonna are gonna do it. Oh well. Nice. In uh in Rise of the Tomb Raider, uh, the first realized right then and there I can't go back to Syria and they have to play the game all Someone over again just to get 100. percent Hello, Miguel. Can you hear me? Dude, Miguel is dead. Why are, are we you? Why are we looking for him? He's gone. By the way, some of the animals that you can hunt in this game are a little bit more, uh, you know, they, they make sense for the area, so we have, uh, I think they're called uh, capybaras, 
if I'm correct. But yeah, we have native animals to hunt, and we're not like adding in animals randomly. So the tier tree here is really cool. So we have um, a lot of different types of like pathways for like the skill points. So um, I really like these. Eagle sight, yeah, we'll do that because I like finding hidden items. Um, dart poison, venom from spiders and beetles, reduced noise, automatically. Yeah, let's do that. Increased speed in swimming, four stealth kill when, without a learning near my enemies. Let's do that. Let's do something here. Ever slip, um, reduced damage when falling, uh, visual assistance, precision by holding. Uh, let's do this one. Um, and everything else is unavailable. I think we gotta make our makeshift knife first. Owler monkeys, yes, yeah, so you can hunt monkeys. My gear is in that cargo. The capybaras. Cut it down. Might be a sharp piece of scrap in that section of the rack. Won't be able to open that without a tool. Oh dang! I can't do anything without this knife. Maybe a piece of scrap from the rack. I think we take parts of the, uh, yeah, we take part of the wing, or the propeller, which I think is funny. Damn it. Oh, in we go. Yeah, give me that. I need it. Don't cut yourself, Laura. Oh, we got a kneel. Makeshift knife. Dude, that would be painful because of it's pure metal, but it's all jagged and serrated. Like, ugh. That would be monstrously painful to get killed by. Ascend. Rise. Like Captain Barras. Cut the rope, get the gear. Uh, excuse me? Good, but it's dull. I need to find something to sharpen it. We gotta collect some salvage, so we gotta hunt this stuff down. What's up, little capybara? That's not salvage. That's some salvage. Right there. I can use this. Still need more, though. Right there. Exactly what I was looking for. Just need a bit more. Feathers? Oh, there's more right here. Yeah, we're gonna reinforce the knife a little Got bit. Not to get. Th I don't think it makes camp. it the reinforced knife, but it makes the makeshift knife a lot stronger. And we can actually now uh, cut these <laughs> animals open, and get their stuff. All right, let's just look around again. Before we start getting gear I wonder if in this game we start off with everything because like we had like all of the guns at the in in Cozumel so I wonder if because we would have brought those with us in Cozumel over that maybe we will have them to start with I don't know oh there's a thing over there found a crypt oh we don't have our bow so there's really nothing we can do Cusco belongs to her Cusco Pizarro, rightful representative of the Spanish Cusco crown. Emperor Diego Cusco de Almagro has been captured Rodrigo Orgones is dead and the rest why of did she say Orgon Orgones Rodrigo Orgones mountains and appeared on the coast outside of Cusco that Orgones sounded painful to meet us at Cachupampa a poor choice for his cavalry. His falconets threw Gonzalo's infantry charge into disorder, but the swampy ground prevented his seasoned cavaliers. Hmm. Cusco. 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 
Cusco. Cusco the place, not Cusco the Emperor. That's a shame. I was really hoping for Cusco the Emperor. You know what I mean? Challenged him. Oh, we might need our gear before we jump in there. Let's do that. Inventory. Makeshift knife. Nope, so it sharpens. And now it's not ja it's not serrated. That should be sharp enough. But tell me that doesn't look like it'd be painful. And she's got a sheath for the dang thing. That just looks mildly painful. Something's still holding the supplies up. Yeah, something. More like these things. Ah, oh, there's a second rope tethering now. Yes! Now I can get my gear back. That's Why a nice didn't I bow. Pack all my equipment together? That's a really nice bow. But we didn't have a gun. No gun. Miss Croft? Anyone? Come in. Miguel? Wait, Miguel's Where alive? Are you? Hmm? Damn. How? Uh. We're not gonna go that way. We got some stuff to explore. One of which was this, the crypt. Do the crypt first. And now we got through, and I'm glad, like in my opinion, with, with, because, you know, like, I've already played this game, so I've already beaten it before, so for me it's more of just like playing it and have, having fun, playing some Careful. Mario Kart games and stuff Careful. like that. Um, I'm really excited that this, or, you know, hoping that we don't experience technical difficulties on the, you know, future streams, but any episode to have technical difficulties, in my opinion, is the intro episode, because I'm already trying to just get through it so that I can get into the game and start the game that, like, you're not, you're not, you're not catching me at the hype of a moment, or when things are getting heated, or when I'm really searching for stuff. Wonder where this will lead. Yeah, that would have been painful. <laughs> Jack's journal? Jack Fawcett? 30th of May. This morning we entered uncharted territory, leaving the sun-bleached bones of dead horse camp behind. Hmm. It seems the tables have turned on Rally, almost quite literally. His bandaged leg is Oh, slowly. he's getting... Yeah, he's getting... His wound is probably getting infected. That's... That's painful. That doesn't sound fun. Ooh. Is that my Incan? Quechua? May Ergu be the one to chart the path Urku? from this life to the... Okay. I gotta go down, go down. Okay, let's go back real quick, because I know there's stuff this way. Shit. Yeet! I know there's stuff over here. I know it exists. I know it's here. Yeah, this is what I wanted to do. Get that. Squeeze through here. Oh. 
Oh yeah, we found a lot of stuff that we can explore through. Alright, let's wrap up the rest of this. There's there's gear there and like the outfits you can craft. Yeah, we gotta go to the base camp after this uh, crypt and go look and see what we get from the. What? Oh, that, that's to mine it. So we've collected all the all the items. Then there's just some crafting materials that you can mine, but we can't because we don't have the thing that's to mine it. Got to be the way up. You think? You think that's the way up, Laura? I'm glad. I forgot. We don't have our little rope thing. We have to actually manually climb up all these. This is why one of the first things that I crafted in Rise of the Tomb Raider was the rope launch, or the first thing I bought was the rope launcher, because it allows you to just fly up, you know, any ropes that you're, oh, let's grab that. Any ropes that you're uh, trying to move up on, it just allows you to just quickly zip up them, because I'm like, I don't want to, I don't want to climb. Too much time. Misa lazy. Alright, we can leave. Oh, dude, look at these people just getting absolutely eviscerated. This would be a painful way to die. guys are a lot easier to hunt than deer. Yeah, we got an optional tomb. Let's go back to base camp. See what we got here. We got skills. We got another skill to do. Um, let's do that. One more skill points. Uh, inventory. New outfit available. Okay, so yeah, here's where we have all of our different um, bows that we can use. So we have the Recurve Bow, there's the Oath Taker Bow, the Puka Hooks Bow, the Recurve Bow Gold Edition, and the Serpent Lash. Purge your flames, or purge your enemies with the Flames of Shibalba. Deals increased fire damage. So we'll think in raw, terms of raw damage, the Puka Hooks bow looks like it's the best. Remember to be able to step between worlds. Looks like this bow is the most balanced. Um, this one's going to shoot a lot faster for less damage. This one is just the Reeker bow, so it's really balanced. But our bow is a little bit more balanced. And then the Serpent Lash just looks cool. Um, no upgrades on the bows, from what I can see. So if we were to look at any of these upgrades, what are we looking at? So we're looking at... Reinforced limbs, which will increase the damage of the bow. Uh, reinforced shaft, so also increasing the damage. So eventually, this bow is probably going to be a lot better. Yeah, because it looks like eventually, with because this one is actually upgradable. So while this one starts off better, I think we're just going to go ahead and switch over to this one. Um, and then the serpent lash has upgrades, but that's string knocks. And that's because it's a different type of bow. Such as like the Oath Taker bow has string knocks. So anything that has string knocks would get that. Okay. So yeah, we'll stick with the golden bow. And then we should be able to look at outfits, right? My yeah, yeah, here we go. Okay, so we have the robes of Puka Hook. Give a nice little rotation. I don't I don't what was the pose going on there? What, what are we doing? Uh, we have the explorer, the adventurer. The survivor. So this is from the, I think, from the first game. A remnant jacket. The commando. 
Desert Tank, Infiltrator, Siberian Ranger, Shadow Runner, the Wraith skin. The Leather Jacket, the Grey Henley, the Blue Henley, the Angel of Darkness. <laughs> Look at it, 8-bit. <laughs> Tomb Raider 2. The Bomber Jacket, the Tunic of the Exiled Fox. Bonus, um... Experience from hunting animals and eh, time slow requires scales with the serpent skill. Brocken. Sinchi Chica Battle Dress. Craft additional ammo. The scales of Q. Double melee resistance. The Hunter's Array. The Dragon Scales. Health regeneration. We might actually stick with that one. Reptilian Hide. Tactical Adventure Classic. Midnight Sentinel. Increases duration of perception herb effects. Croft Fitness. That one actually looks really dope. But we might stick with Dragon Scales. Those are the health regeneration. Resist fire damage and get knocked down less in combat. Yeah, uh, I think we'll stick with... Uh... And then, yeah, you can craft. So I think we'll stick with this one. And, uh, let's grab that little guy. A handkerchief. We found a handkerchief. That was it. This is the Peruvian jungle. This is the first major area. Um, this is the whole map, so there's going to be a lot of different areas. This one's obviously the first big one that we uh, have gotten to. So as we kind of explore through the map, we'll find a lot of different areas to kind of explore through. There's a lot of really good ones. Um, if I'm correct, this one is the biggest. I think this is the, the village of Paititi. Um, so this is like a hidden, this is where the majority of the game will take place. It's like in this area right here. So yeah, if I'm right, this is going to be where we spend a lot of our time. So I'm really excited. Um, but now we're officially in Peru. So we've kind of gotten past like that first hump of the game. So what I'm thinking about doing is just kind of calling it here so that I can, um, you know, when we jump in, we can, we can actually start tackling, like finding the items, doing the challenge tombs and playing the game like we did with, uh, with shadow or rise of the tomb Raider. So, um, gonna be a lot of fun while we dig through so let's and especially because it's the morning there's a bunch of stuff that i still want to make sure that i can do it looks like currently that there isn't anyone on that i would want to raid so no there isn't anyone on Oh, hey, it's a Saturday. So yeah, so I guess we'll just uh, we'll just call it then. So um, I'll be back on Tuesday officially because I know this week we canceled Tuesday and Wednesday for my uh, work, my in-office day that I had. So um, we will be back on Tuesday. We'll play, you know, normal stream time. So Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. Uh, we'll have a lot of fun playing through this game. We'll try to see as mu how you know how much we can get through. I'm pretty confident that we'll be able to tear through this game pretty quickly. Uh, so you know, hopefully, we're able to get through it as as quick we can. Um, and then once we're done, it's Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy. So it's going to be a lot of fun stuff that we got planned. Um, so please, you know, stick around. I uh, love having everyone here. Uh, I'll go ahead and just say it again. Uh, for the people that showed up, you know, today, uh, Bobby, thank you so much. I don't know if you've already left for the beach, but thank you. I appreciate you. Um, Ed, thank you so much for the sub. I hope you enjoy the founder's badge and all the emotes. I really appreciate the support and I love it. So thank you so much. Um, I hope to see you on one of your next streams. I know you've been playing a bit of until dawn. Um, so I'm, I'm excited to get back to whenever you're streaming and see if I can hop in every now and then. Um, and then I know nobody was here. Um, the person, not nobody, the, the term for literally no one, but, uh, nobody was here for a quick bit just to say hi. And I appreciated that. That was awesome. So, um, I will see you guys on Tuesday. Hope you guys have a great rest of your weekend. Please stay safe. Please enjoy, um, GG's. Yes. Thank you, Ed. I appreciate it. Yeah, I think I'll hop on later tonight to finish the game. Okay, perfect. Um, I have some stuff that runs till about like 6 PM my time. So since you're a little bit more West of me, maybe 
maybe I I should be there. Yeah, there I don't see any reason why I shouldn't. So if you're on, um, I, I I'll get the notification. I'll I'll make it a, an important effort to be there to to hang out. So I appreciate you being here. Uh, thank you so much, man. Uh, and I hope you have a great rest of your night.